CJ Roberts and number 24, Brock McClure. And in for the Lumberjacks, we have Gavin Kinsmill, Latrell Jossell, Calvin Solomon, David Cackleries, and getting his first start tonight is Diego Willis. Very interested to see tonight, Chase, how Diego adapts. Uh, Gavin Kinsmill will open things up for the Lumberjacks. It's very clear that Coach Keller trusts the young Diego Willis, and we'll see how he gets the ball rolling tonight with his first collegiate start. Have to see how things go. Maybe a different kind of a little uh, matchup one to see going on as the Lumberjacks only did only score only 12 points in the first half against Sam Houston. So maybe just a kind of a different uh, from opposing teams. Yeah, Lamar hasn't got off to the start to the season how they would have hoped. They're sitting at 2-14, and 14, and you mentioned 0-5 in conference play. You see McClure get able to. Outside, Jossell from three. That'll be buried. Latrell Jossell just getting warmed up. You mentioned the best three-point shooter on this team. That's what you like to see. They reclaim the lead. Jossell averaging almost 40% from behind the arc. The only one averaging, or excuse me, a couple averaging higher, but the only one that really Driving inside, good dish down low to find the open Carpenter. How about Clayton Carpenter coming in, first shot up and good for him. Standing at 6'9 is Carpenter. Ken's Mill trying to go to work inside, double team doesn't matter. And Coach Keller, I'm sure just trying to see what group works the best. As Jackson Posey hits the ground. That was a great offensive rebound by McClure there. And the second objects, and the Cardinals will push it the other way. I will say that was great court vision by Latrell Giselle to get that swing, swing pass as we see. Number 13, Calvin Solomon, set to check back in. That pass was coming 3D. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> it threw me off for a second as that is. to get that one to fall down if your kids move. Now Lamar, they've done a great job of closing down any interior shots. As Cackle Reeves will take the second to get it set up. Solomon down low, lays it up and in and gets the end one to fall. So he'll go to the line to shoot and one to get the old fashioned three point attempt. 8-10 to play in the first half. As the Lumberjacks will get picked off, Jefferson will lay it up and in. And trying to draw the foul there against Jossell, can't do it. And Lamar just getting the extra opportunities. Yeah, Reyes with the big bucket, I mean, with the great rebound, and that is 23. Senegar with the nice putback. And if you're the Lumberjacks, I mean, if you're trying to close in on this lead that Lamar has, it's not the way to do it by letting them get multiple offensive rebounds. And I say on the offensive end, you get the ball to 10. Cackleree is able to knock it down from deep. That's big. Are able to get it right back. And the wild, amazing. They'll have the ball back in their hands as they lead by eight. Yeah, Lamar right now shooting two for five from the three-point line and nine for 16 from the field. That's efficient offense so far here in the first half. Ball outside, deep shot is on the way and good for C.J. Roberts. Feeling it right now, the Cardinals are. Lumberjack's going to have to step up that defensive intensity. Jackson Posey trying to get inside. His little jump shot is good. Yeah, nice hesitation right there by Posey getting the defender in the air. He's able to finish. So if this tells you anything about the Lumberjacks and Lamar's game plan for them, Lamar has 12 points in the paint to the Lumberjacks' eight, which I'm not saying is a big differential as the three. Balls on top of the 
foul. Let's see if they count the bucket as well. And they're going to count the three-point shot. It's not for sure what the whistle was. But nonetheless, Lamar up by 12. And you were speaking about those those point paints, Chase. Paint points. <laughs> and, and they just made the Lumberjacks earn everything from the free throw line. See Calfrey's take one here. Splash. Mm -hmm. he Lumberjacks close it within single digits. In a game where they feel like they should make a statement, they find themselves down. Jocelyn from deep. And you've got to imagine at some point, what point does it make an impact for this Lumberjack team as Kinsmill tries to go to work inside and he'll convert. Lamar looking for any type of answer they can get. And Kekko Reeves will come up with the steal. Leading the fast break, able to lay it up and in. And this is a 250 remaining here in the first half. I'm going to flip the script here, Chase. What do you do if you're Lamar? And you see the Lumberjacks have came back from 12. So Buster with that you do, long you do that right there. Attempt. He's able to knock that one down. Kinsmill driving the lane, can't get it to fall. And the Cardinals trying to push in transition. Another three on the way, that's good. 35, it was all tied up at 35 until Buster hit back-to-back -back threes. Tackle Reeves, layup is good. Inside pass, good ball movement to find the wide open shot is cannot convert, but another offensive Looking to make the first field goal of the second half. And that they do. And that'll be number zero, Lincoln Smith. And Lincoln Smith, that's a couple times tonight we've seen him with that mid-range pull-up, and he gets up high to shoot that ball. And that will be saved in the backcourt by Diego Willis. Jossel thought about it. Great floater, floater on the way, and he'll get it over the towering, the towering defender to put themselves within five. And that's just basketball skill right there. He's going to get the hop step to get past his defender and take that second leap to get that floater to go in. Beautiful move by Giselle. Corner on the way. That's good. By number 20, C.J. Roberts. The Cardinals still trying to rob that hot hand that they had in the first half. In the first half, they shot six for 12 from the three-point line, 50%. Diego Willis trying to answer, and he connects. And Cackleries almost came up with it. Cardinals able to secure it. Trying to get something going, and they do. Is Lumberjack shooting about 31% from behind the arc and 40% from the field as, the, as they can't get that one to fall there. Yeah, McClear just tried to get that one high off the rim. Giselle, splash, and there he is. Go down. That'll went around the rim a couple times before it went down. And just like that, it is a two point game. Lumberjacks were looking for a spark, and they may have found it. Kinsmill on the defensive end. And he Willis up top, moving the ball around. Jocel from NBA range and beyond, and knocks it down. And the Lumberjacks find themselves on top by one. I mentioned it, Chase. Giselle is feeling it offensively and defensively here. And the ball likes when you play defense. It'll turn into points on the other end, and it does for Giselle right there. And now you can feel this crowd starting to get back into it. And in right after making those free throws. Lumberjacks back on top, 57-56. 
as the Cardinals look to answer. And that they do, but nonetheless, four for six. Trying to trap up top. Are the Lumberjacks trying to stay with some good defense? Lumberjacks don't want to allow any points here. Four on the shot clock. Shot on the way, and that's good by number 24, Brock McClure, with the shot clock winding down. And I've seen the flick in that wrist on McClure when he shot that one. Kensville Pretty shot. inside, lays it up and in, and gets the and one. Buster looking to go to work against Willis. McClure taking it to the hole, banks it home. For Jacks with a chance to take the lead here. Diego Willis, pull up jumper, gets it to go. Big time shot by Dion Cackleries, pushing the ball up the floor. Corner, Willis. Can he go back to back? He gets it to go. Diego Willis. And Diego Willis coming up big for the Lumberjacks here late. Solomon driving, layup, good. With the left hand finish. Tough finish right there by Solomon. And the Lumberjacks are feeling it right now. Driving inside is Roberts. He's going to lay it up and in and draw the foul. And what an even tougher finish there by C.J. Roberts. He was grabbed. 69, 66, 640 to go in the game. Cackleries turning on the Jets, lays it up and in. And how about the fight from these Cardinals? Not willing to give up, are they? Uh, sitting at 2-14 and 14 on the season, 0-5 in conference play. And they find themselves within three as Kinsmill will get the tough. If you're the Cardinals now, you have to start getting some shots to fall. You got to get some answers. Driving inside, Roberts up under layup, tough finish, and he'll bank it to go down. That's a couple times we've seen C.J. Roberts have to finish tough underneath the rim. It's Kaysen Harrison gets the ball poked away. Harrison against Cackleries, pin it against the backboard. And Jossell will come up with it. Willis, Jossell for three. Bang! Jossell from deep. Excuse me. So 340 remaining. Lumberjacks on top by five. Cross and a lob up to Solomon. Lumberjacks are on top by eight. And a game that was, has been an all in favor of Lamar. The Lumberjacks will now come out on top with under 10 seconds remaining. And Cackleries will dribble this one out as the Lumberjacks will advance to three and two in conference play. 86-78, Lumberjacks get the victory here at home. A bounce back win after falling on the road to the Bearcats.